Hence the MSC, which is MPC plus MEC, is much more than what a firm is paying individually, which is the MPC. Let's take some time to digest this. The MSC curve shows the cost of society. It shows the MPC, which is the cost borne by the firm itself for its raw materials, its labor, whatever, plus the marginal external cost borne by the environment, the fishermen, and everything else. Hence, it shows the entire cost of society. The MPC, on the other hand, basically shows the private cost, the cost to the firm itself. Now, let's assume that the firm is selfish. Why should it not be? It is selfish and it only seeks profits. Then it wouldn't give two hoots about what the fisherman is doing downstream. It only cares about earning profits and lots of profits. So in other words, it is profit maximizing. The firm itself will only produce a Q1 where marginal private cost equals to marginal private benefit. Remember, the firm only cares about the private component because it is profit maximizing. It does not give any thought to the fisherman downstream. However, what should the production be? Now, that was what the production was, but what should it be? The production should occur at MSB equals to MSC, where it is allocatively efficient for the entire society, where society values the last unit of good as much as it costs to produce it, cost being the entire cost of society, not just private cost. Hence, production should be at Q0 instead of Q1. Q0 is allocatively efficient, and it is a socially optimal production level. Here, we can see market failure. The firm obviously overproduces because it does not take into account external cost. Considering only private cost and benefit, the firm only produces a Q1, and hence it overproduces, above the level which is allocatively efficient. This overproduction causes dead weight loss. But before we go into that, take a deep breath and try and understand this diagram first. Let's do the welfare analysis in the next checkpoint.